Hi Reefers and welcome back to Mindy's Coral Reef. So today I want to share with you my seahorse tank. Actually my new seahorse tank. So the last time I showed you my seahorses they were in my 30 gallon tank. I was telling you how I was going to upgrade them and I did. I upgraded them into my 90 gallon. So I wanted to show you my transition and what I did in my new 90 gallon putting everything that was in my 30 gallon into my 90 gallon. They're much happier now in the 90 gallon. Obviously they have much more room. You can see I have a friend here with me who does not want to leave me alone so I said fine you can film with me today my friend Pikachu also along with showing you my new seahorse tank and how it looks fabulous I also ordered a pair of bonded erectus seahorses from live Aquaria if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to like I appreciate all the positive feedback also if you're not familiar with my patreon page Patreon is a network where I can share my creative side privately and you can show your support. What's great about Patreon is it's really easy to use, it takes a minute to set up, you can cancel at any time, and you can set a max limit so you only spend the amount that you want. You can find the link to my Patreon page in the information section of this video. I appreciate everyone who's contributed to my Patreon page. It allows me to continue what I'm doing with the support that you guys have given me. Now let's get on to the fun part. So you can see now with the 90 gallon that they have much more room to work with with my seahorses. So I currently have nine seahorses, all erectus seahorses. I have a lot of gorgonians, as you can see here, and I'm gonna zoom up for you. I spread them all out so they're evenly distributed. And I also added more sand in here. I have one garden eel, which I didn't even know I had until just a few days ago. I thought he vanished, and all of a sudden he just popped up from nowhere. So he's been in here, and obviously has been eating myces because that's all I feed my seahorses, and so obviously he's been eating myces and been doing well. I added a couple more Gorgonians. I took some from my other tanks and just cut a few pieces and then added them to a couple rock. I have a mixture of photosynthetic and non-photosynthetic Gorgonians in here. I have very few actual corals. The ones I do have in here are non-stinging corals. Obviously, you don't want to have anything that's going to be a stinging coral, especially anemones. I mean, I had someone ask me, oh, can I have anemones with seahorses? Obviously, you could not. An anemone will sting and also eat a seahorse if you had an anemone with a seahorse. Seahorse do not have scales, so they are very delicate and will get stung by those corals. I do currently have one pipefish in here. I have a blue striped pipefish. I did have two at one point. They were a male and female. Now with the blue striped pipefish, the males are dominant, so you can't have more than one male. If you have, you know, a group of them, the males will fight each other until they kill each other and there's just one male left over. You can have multiple females, just one male. And I actually had a couple left over after, you know, they finally found out who was male, who was dominant, and then I just had the two left over. And I had an arrow crab in here, a triangle crab, and one morning woke up and he was eating one of my pipe fish, like a beef jerky stick. So he was out of there within two seconds. And I learned my lesson. So sometimes we have to learn the hard way. So that's that. So I'm in the process of getting more uh, pipe fish because I've had the best luck with the blue stripe. They actually eat frozen myces. All right, so this is the box I got from Live Aquaria. I actually got these guys. These are Biota Captive Bread Bonded Pair of Erectus Seahorses, and they're actually yellow, so I'm really excited to see what they look like. They were beautiful on the picture. They came from their diver's den section, so it's what you see is what you get. And here comes Pikachu again. <laughs> Can't get rid of this bird. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm gonna set these down and then show you exactly how they came. I think they came in separate bags, so let's see. And it's a little bit warm outside now, so I was a little bit worried you know, with the shipping. When the temperature is warm, it's always a little bit risky to ship. Um, hopefully they're doing okay. Now with Live Aquaria, they always come with acclimation guide, so you know how to acclimate them. And then it comes in a cooler. I actually had an ice pack in here to keep it cool because of the warm temperatures. They separated both seahorses into two different bags. I've actually had seahorses come both together in the same bag, but this time they put the seahorses in separate bags. And they're actually in big bags, so. And 
the bag actually is black all the way around so these guys can't see a thing. So I'm actually going to put these guys in the fish tank so that they can uh, temperature acclimate for right now. And I'm going to turn off the lights in the fish tank.
also, if you guys remember my 30 gallon, which was upstairs for my tropical seahorses, it's now in the basement and I transferred my pot bellies, my cold water seahorses into my 30 gallon, which is right here. So I tore down the 15 gallon, which is what they were in, which I'll be honest, it became a little, it just wasn't enough for them. Uh, the filtration system wasn't holding up to their standards of what the seahorses needed. So this tank is gonna be much better for them. It has a sum. It's just gonna be much better for them in the long run. So now I have them in here. They have much more room. They're gonna be much happier and uh, I'll show you them up close. They're doing really well. The water staying cool where they need it to be and it's perfect. guys so that's a wrap thank you again for watching and i hope you enjoyed the update on my new seahorse tank if you found it informative or if you enjoyed the video please subscribe and leave comments in the comment section or if you have any questions feel free to leave them also again i appreciate all the positive feedback and all the positive support on my patreon page i look forward to seeing you again in my next video thanks again guys and i'll see you soon I want to give a huge thank you to John, Wayne, Kirk, and Jamie for their support on this video on my Patreon page.